Have you ever wondered why some people seem to effortlessly draw others into their orbit? It's as if they possess an invisible force field of charisma, pulling you in whether you like it or not. These individuals aren't necessarily the loudest in the room or the most conventionally attractive. Instead, they radiate a quiet magnetism that's both captivating and inspiring. What if I told you that this magnetic quality isn't some innate, mysterious gift, but rather a set of traits that can be cultivated and refined? In today's video, we're going to explore seven key traits that make people highly magnetic, drawing inspiration from both modern psychology and the ancient wisdom of Stoicism. We'll delve into how these characteristics not only enhance your appeal to others, but also contribute to your personal growth and inner tranquility. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, no man is free who is not master of himself. By developing these magnetic traits, you'll not only attract others, but also gain mastery over your own life and emotions. Before we get on with it, if you're at one point finding value in this video, please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe. Your support helps us create more content on Stoicism and personal growth. Number 1. Unwavering Self-Assurance Picture this. You're at a crowded party, feeling a bit out of place, when suddenly someone walks in who exudes an aura of calm confidence. Without saying a word, they've already captured everyone's attention. That's the power of unwavering self-assurance. At the heart of this magnetic trait lies the psychological concept of self-efficacy. Developed by psychologist Albert Bandura, self-efficacy refers to an individual's belief in their ability to succeed in specific situations or accomplish tasks. People with high self-efficacy approach challenges with confidence, set ambitious goals and persist in the face of setbacks. They're not deterred by obstacles because they fundamentally believe in their capacity to overcome them. This concept aligns beautifully with Stoic philosophy. The Stoics emphasize the importance of focusing on what's within our control and accepting what isn't. As Marcus Aurelius wrote, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. True self-assurance from a Stoic perspective comes from knowing that while we can't control external circumstances, we always have control over our responses and attitudes. So how can you cultivate this magnetic trait? Start by setting small, achievable goals and consistently meeting them. This builds a track record of success, reinforcing your belief in your abilities. Practice positive self-talk, reframing negative thoughts into more constructive ones. Remember, self-assurance isn't about being perfect or never failing. It's about trusting in your ability to handle whatever comes your way. Regularly step out of your comfort zone, taking on challenges that stretch your capabilities. With each obstacle you overcome, your self-assurance will grow stronger. By developing unwavering self-assurance, you're not just becoming more attractive to others. You're building a solid foundation for navigating life's ups and downs with grace and resilience. As you cultivate this trait, you'll find that your magnetic presence naturally draws others towards you, inspired by your quiet confidence and inner strength. Number 2. Empathetic Listening Did you know that we spend an average of 70 to 80% of our waking hours communicating and that 45% of that time is spent listening? Yet studies show that we only remember about 25 to 50% of what we hear. These statistics highlight a crucial gap in our communication skills one that magnetic individuals have mastered through empathetic listening. The psychological concept underpinning this trait is active listening. Unlike passive listening, where we simply hear words without fully engaging, active listening involves giving our full attention to the speaker, understanding their message and responding thoughtfully. 
It's about being present in the conversation, picking up on nonverbal cues, and truly seeking to understand, rather than just waiting for our turn to speak. This approach to communication aligns seamlessly with the stoic virtue of justice, which encompasses fairness, integrity, and social responsibility. The Roman Stoic philosopher Seneca emphasized the importance of listening, stating, the most important part of learning is to train the ear. By practicing empathetic listening, we're not only enhancing our relationships, but also embodying the Stoic ideal of treating others with respect and understanding. To apply this in real life, start by focusing entirely on the person speaking. Put away distractions, maintain eye contact, and resist the urge to interrupt or formulate your response while they're talking. Practice reflective listening by paraphrasing what you've heard to ensure understanding. Ask thoughtful, open-ended questions that demonstrate your engagement and desire to learn more. Remember, the goal isn't to agree with everything said, but to truly understand the speaker's perspective. As you develop this skill, you'll notice a profound shift in your interactions. People will feel valued and understood in your presence, naturally drawing them closer to you. Your relationships will deepen and you'll gain insights you might have otherwise missed. By mastering empathetic listening, you're not just becoming a more magnetic individual. You're cultivating a deeper understanding of the human experience, one conversation at a time. Number three, authentic vulnerability. What if I told you that one of the most powerful ways to connect with others is by showing your weaknesses? It might seem counterintuitive, but authentic vulnerability is a key trait of highly magnetic individuals. So why does opening up about our struggles and imperfections make us more attractive to others? The answer lies in the psychological concept of emotional intelligence. Coined by researchers Peter Salovey and John Mayer, emotional intelligence refers to the ability to recognize, understand, and manage our own emotions, as well as those of others. A crucial component of emotional intelligence is self-awareness, which includes acknowledging our vulnerabilities. By being open about our struggles and imperfections, we demonstrate a high level of self-awareness and create space for genuine connections. At first glance, vulnerability might seem at odds with Stoic philosophy, which often emphasizes strength and resilience. However, the Stoics also valued authenticity and self-knowledge. As Marcus Aurelius wrote in his meditations, if you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. This quote highlights the Stoic approach to authenticity. Acknowledging our thoughts and feelings without being controlled by them. To cultivate authentic vulnerability, start by practicing self-reflection. Take time each day to acknowledge your thoughts and feelings without judgment. When you're ready, start sharing these reflections with trusted friends or family members. Remember, vulnerability isn't about oversharing or seeking pity. It's about honest self-expression. Practice using I statements to express your feelings and experiences. And be willing to admit when you're wrong or don't have all the answers. As you become more comfortable with authentic vulnerability, you'll likely notice a shift in your relationships. People will be drawn to your honesty and openness, feeling safe to be themselves around you. You'll foster deeper connections and create an environment of mutual trust and understanding. By embracing this magnetic trait, you're not just becoming more attractive to others. You're paving the way for more authentic, meaningful interactions in all areas of your life. Number four, resilience in adversity. In 1914, Ernest Shackleton led an expedition to cross Antarctica. When his ship became trapped in ice, he led his crew on a grueling 18-month journey to safety, 
With all 27 men surviving against incredible odds, Shackleton's unwavering resilience in the face of extreme adversity didn't just save lives. It made him a magnetic leader whose story continues to inspire over a century later. This magnetic trait of resilience is closely tied to the psychological concept of post-traumatic growth. Coined by psychologists Richard Tedeschi and Lawrence Calhoun, post-traumatic growth refers to positive psychological changes experienced as a result of struggling with highly challenging life circumstances. It's not just about bouncing back from adversity, but about using those experiences as catalysts for personal growth and transformation. The Stoic philosophy aligns perfectly with this concept, emphasizing the importance of focusing on what's within our control. As Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Stoics believe that adversity is not just an inevitable part of life, but an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. By reframing challenges as opportunities, we can develop a resilience that not only helps us persevere, but also attracts others through our strength and positive outlook. To build resilience, start by cultivating a growth mindset. View challenges as opportunities to learn and grow, rather than insurmountable obstacles. Practice cognitive reframing. Actively look for positive aspects or potential lessons in difficult situations. Develop a strong support network, but also learn to rely on your inner strength. Regular self-reflection can help you identify your coping mechanisms and areas for improvement. As you develop this magnetic trait, you'll notice that your resilience doesn't just benefit you, it inspires those around you. People are naturally drawn to individuals who can maintain composure and find opportunity in adversity. Your ability to navigate life's challenges with grace and determination will make you a beacon of strength for others. Remember, resilience isn't about never falling, it's about rising every time you fall, and in doing so, you become a magnetic force of perseverance and hope. Number 5. Genuine Curiosity Did you know that curiosity has been linked to higher levels of positive emotions, lower levels of anxiety, more satisfaction with life, and greater psychological well-being? This fascinating finding from a 2007 study published in the Journal of Personality Assessment highlights why genuine curiosity is such a magnetic trait. At the core of this magnetic quality lies the psychological concept of a growth mindset, developed by psychologist Carol Dweck. People with a growth mindset believe that their abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort, learning and persistence. This mindset fuels an insatiable curiosity about the world and a desire to continually learn and improve. Individuals with a growth mindset are naturally drawn to new experiences and ideas, making them inherently interesting to others. The Stoic philosophy strongly emphasizes the importance of continuous learning and self-improvement. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, once said, it is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. This aligns perfectly with the concept of genuine curiosity. The Stoics believe that wisdom comes from constantly questioning our assumptions and being open to new ideas, a practice that not only leads to personal growth, but also makes us more engaging to those around us. To cultivate genuine curiosity, Start by asking more questions in your daily interactions. Practice active listening and follow up with thoughtful inquiries. Challenge yourself to learn something new every day, whether it's a random fact, a new skill, or a different perspective on a familiar topic. Embrace the discomfort of not knowing. View it as an exciting opportunity to grow rather than a shortcoming. Engage with diverse ideas and people. Seek out perspectives that differ from your own. As you develop this magnetic trait, you'll likely find that your conversations become more engaging and your relationships more dynamic. 
people are naturally drawn to those who show a genuine interest in them and the world around them. Your curiosity will not only make you more knowledgeable, but also more approachable and interesting to others. Remember, in cultivating curiosity, you're not just becoming more magnetic, you're opening yourself up to a world of endless fascination and growth. Number 6. Composed Presence Imagine you're in a crowded room when suddenly chaos erupts. People are panicking, voices are rising and tension is palpable. In the midst of this turmoil, one person remains calm, their presence a soothing balm to the frenetic energy around them. Without uttering a word, they've become a magnetic center of tranquility. This is the power of a composed presence. The psychological concept underpinning this magnetic trait is mindfulness. Rooted in ancient Buddhist traditions and popularized in Western psychology by John Kabat-Zinn, mindfulness is the practice of being fully present and engaged in the moment, aware of our thoughts and feelings without distraction or judgment. People who cultivate mindfulness tend to exude a sense of calm and clarity that others find both reassuring and attractive. This composed presence aligns beautifully with the Stoic discipline of ascent. The Stoics believed in the importance of carefully examining our impressions before accepting them as true. As Epictetus advised, make it your study then to confront every harsh impression with the words, you are but an impression and not at all what you seem to be. This practice allows us to respond to situations thoughtfully rather than react impulsively fostering a composed demeanor that draws others in. To develop a composed presence, start by incorporating mindfulness into your daily routine. Begin with short meditation sessions, focusing on your breath and observing your thoughts without attachment. Practice pausing before responding in conversations or challenging situations, giving yourself time to choose your words and actions deliberately. Cultivate body awareness through practices like yoga or Tai Chi, which can help you maintain physical composure even when under stress. As you cultivate this magnetic trait, you'll likely notice a shift in how others perceive and interact with you. Your composed presence will become a source of stability for those around you, drawing them to your calm energy. In a world that often feels chaotic and overwhelming, your ability to maintain composure will make you a magnetic force of tranquility and clarity. Remember, a composed presence isn't about suppressing emotions, but about approaching life's ups and downs with a grounded, mindful awareness. Number 7. Principled Action the ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands at times of challenge and controversy. These powerful words from Martin Luther King Jr. encapsulate the magnetic quality of principled action, a trait that draws others through its unwavering commitment to values and ethics. At the heart of this magnetic trait lies the psychological concept of integrity. In psychology, integrity refers to the consistency between one's values and behaviors. People with high integrity act in accordance with their principles, even when it's difficult or unpopular to do so. This consistency builds trust and respect, making them inherently attractive to others who value authenticity and moral strength. The stoic virtue of courage aligns closely with principled action. For the stoics, courage wasn't just about facing physical dangers, but about having the moral fortitude to do what's right, regardless of the consequences. As Seneca put it, sometimes even to live is an act of courage. This stoic courage involves standing firm in one's convictions and acting in accordance with one's values even in the face of adversity or social pressure. To align your actions with your principles, start by clearly defining your core values. What matters most to you? What principles do you want to guide your life? Once you've identified these, 
look for opportunities to put them into practice in your daily life. Start with small actions that align with your values and gradually take on bigger challenges. When faced with difficult decisions, refer back to your principles to guide your choices. As you develop this magnetic trait, you'll likely find that people are drawn to your consistency and moral clarity. Your principled actions will inspire trust and respect, making you a natural leader and role model. Remember, living according to your principles isn't always easy, but it's invariably rewarding. By cultivating principled action, you're not just becoming more magnetic, you're creating a life of purpose and integrity that inspires others to do the same. Thanks for watching our exploration of these seven magnetic traits. If you've made it this far, type magnetic in the comments to let us know. Remember, these qualities aren't just about attracting others, they're about becoming the best version of yourself. Keep practicing, stay curious, and embrace the journey of personal growth. If you're new here and enjoyed the video, please hit that subscribe button. Until next time, stay stoic and stay magnetic.